morning friends and welcome to the second part of the special episode featuring the women transporters trip to the manufacturing facility of VE commercial vehicles in Pithampur Madhya Pradesh you are watching Trans India real people real emotions a VE CV special episode our episode last week received overwhelming response which had a mix of accomplishments emotions struggles happiness and many more elements while the industry and other oems applauded the journey of these women a few customers called in to offer working with them while the women were expressing their thoughts and talking about their journey someone was meticulously making notes of the elements that defined each of the women however bhagwan who was more than instrumental in putting this event together picked up the pearls of wisdom from these women transporters and this is how we summed their success and learning you all are path breakers and and trend setters in your own right already today and when we look at the industry going forward it's going to evolve further and faster right so 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 i think i think it would be very good to understand how you are thinking i mean i will keep these notes from yesterday with me okay five points you know your your focus on patience perseverance your attitude so to speak to make things happen what stood out was your humane perspective on drivers i mean all of you spoke to it all of you spoke to it differently but all of you are really focused on the driver right and and uh, and i think that you know i think i think that really stood out to me yesterday the construct of partnership as opposed to let's just fight i think that's left for men to do <laughs> right right but but i think i think it's an interesting perspective to take forward and then also your own depth on diversity today morning for instance i would never have expected that the first comment that comes up on an amt an automatic manual transition is that women drivers can come in right i would have heard a lot of nice things ki ha isme fuel bachega isme ye hoga wo hoga but the first comment that came out of this cohort was oh wow you know we can have other sets of drivers come in and change how we work and i think that stands for something right so so we will have uh, in a bit uh, i've asked rajinder such they were to join us rajinder is a i mean a very respected colleague of mine he heads up technology and manufacturing as coo for vcv he's been around the industry for a long time and i think that i mean you know i trust him implicitly when it comes to technology technology directions he's just kind of very very good at at kind of uh, all of those things and he's a nice guy too right so he's a very nice person but also then i think a, a very 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 wise person when it comes to technology while the first day of the event was more about the women showcasing their journey their struggles and their success the second day was more about discussing how the industry had developed over the decades and what was the road ahead and joining the delegation at the VECV facility was the chief operating officer mr rajender sachdeva mr sachdeva too has been a veteran in the commercial vehicle industry and he is amongst the men leading the way to the future technologies at VECV like many other people Mr Sajdeva too was pleasantly surprised to see an all women delegation of transporters however the conversation between Mr Sajdeva and the women at no point of time felt any different in fact Mr Sajdeva appreciated the knowledge and insights that the women transporters shared during the conversation here is what Mr Sajdeva had to say to the women opening the path for an exciting conversation Uh, future of india is very very bright and uh, uh, seeing uh, such type of enlightened uh, group in the logistic segment which is seen to be very outlier group normally uh, educated people and uh, coming into that technology savvy people come venturing into that is very very limited and second part which i heard was that uh, importance of driver now uh, just to corroborate the same point yesterday we had a uh, uh, chairman of vrl group with us Uh, mr uh, dr vijay sankeshwar he was here with us uh, vrl you must have heard uh, all of you must have heard that thing so he was saying that please stop manufacturing trucks you make one truck give us two drivers then only business is viable 
but if you give us only the vehicle finding the driver making uh, getting him trained and making him ethically inclined toward the organization objective very difficult so second point he said to uh, achieve uh, the objective he said that uh, he is telling the drivers that uh, he is stealing diesel for 100 rupees per liter and selling at 35 so he said i am going to start a scheme sell to me at 125 rupees per liter <laughs> <laughs> so i think lot of challenges are there on the driver what i heard from you that because that is going to be the i will say the sole arbiter for your business and the profitability that's what it is there so uh, very very warm welcome to all of you in vcv so only way to improve the politician is increase percentage reservation for women <laughs> only way to improve the logistic industry is that you people come forward and participate in that thing <laughs> we are uh, uh, i rajinder say deva i look after uh, uh, r&d for last uh, 30 years and then uh, in now plant operations and uh, uh, supply chain all the part of the operation i look after that thing and uh, in vcv i am there for last 30 year prior to that i was in swaraj mazda for about 7 8 years so overall if i see that i have seen the major transition in the industry and as you also see that i am hearing from you that and uh, i see that uh, industry over the period of time is going to become a very very competitive very competitive we already seen that ftus are out first time users are out and industry is becoming organized with gst coming in now we are surprised that in transportation industry today in e-commerce you said that thing monthly running is 20000 kilometers which we never imagined that means what are earlier you used to talk about 300000 uh, km warranty no person is clock clocking that warranty in one day half year and after that uh, uh, if the breakdown is there then how we going to manage that thing how the revenue is coming versus maintenance what equation everything is getting changed today and uh, in that scenario now we have we were fortunate we are fortunate that we have got the volvo group support in terms of technology which is helping us to keeping aligned with what is happening in the market even ahead of the market that's what we are ensuring that now i see that uh, another 5 to 7 year 10 year buses definitely about 30 40% buses will get converted to electric buses trucks also we have also made a first beginning that a first truck of 5 uh, ton gross vehicle weight we have introduced just introduced and is working on that thing. but looking at that uh, sustainability of environment is the most most important responsibility in front of us and that can be met and automotive has to play a very very large role there and uh, uh, we are making sure that uh, whichever technology offer the better environment protection we should work on that that's the number one priority for all of us that's what is the sustainability on which we are working on that and today i see that uh, we are working on six technology in vcv diesel is there which is the current technology obd2 and then euro 7 also uh, europe is coming in july 2027 euro 7 is coming in india it will also be notified in india we fall in terms of the norms across the globe we follow the european norms this is a, a stated objective of a government of india that we european norms are more closer to us they are belonging to the more robust vehicle technology so we will follow and last 30 year we have been doing that thing and i am sure that by 27 28 if gadkari stays there thing can happen ahead of that also we will continue our journey at vcv's facility after this very short break you are watching trans india real people real emotions आप चाहे कहीं भी हो पर आपका बिजनेस हमेशा रहे ट्रैक पे विद माय आयशा इसके फ्लीट मैनेजमेंट फीचर्स जैसे फ्लीट ट्रैकिंग परफॉर्मेंस मॉनिटरिंग और ट्रिप इंटेलिजेंस दे आपको अपनी फ्लीट पे पूरा कंट्रोल कभी भी कहीं से भी मतलब बिजनेस आपकी पॉकेट में कंट्रोल charging is over and my driver can't wait for the charge charging yes absolutely absolutely i think we have as much as we are advancing 
I think the back end has to be so strong that every few kilometers there has to be a charger available and also the charging time. If we go on a slow charger, I was talking to Mr. Bhagwan yesterday, uh, sir, yesterday and we were, you know, we were saying fast charger, ho sakta hai, but truck mein usse jyada time lagega. Yes, absolutely. Aapke small passenger cars mein itna time nahi lagega, but a, a truck which is already carrying goods is going to take much longer. So that is going to be a challenge to even customers are not, see now where e-commerce and all coming in, everyone wants it, itna, we all of us who used to quick delivery, people don't understand. And even customers for specialized or any one of us, they also want We have order one day before, we have to do it They will not understand, so infrastructure I think has to be there It, it has to keep pace He is doing great, Mr. Nitin Gurkari is doing awesome when it comes to highways and everything But with that even Charging infra charging has to be there I think will be a charge So I was coming to that, we fully appreciate your point, what you are raising that thing Just to give example, for 5 kilowatt two wheelers it is taking about half an hour, one hour to charge that thing. If you say 400 kilowatt, you have to charge that thing. It will take almost 15 hours to charge. So driver cannot wait for that. Also, हाँ पे अगर charge या point भी आप कितने charger रोकोगे क्योंकि trucks इतने सारे हैं. आप एक station से दूसरे station जाओगे वहाँ पे हम लोग को अभी CNG में भी इतनी line लगती है. CNG, there is a big line. Exactly. Big line, I think CNG. CNG failed or is not doing as well is because of the queue. Because of the queue. Yes, absolutely. Now I can write a book on CNG, uh, we can discuss afterward. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Whole chain, uh, whole yeah. chain charging, charging infra has to be there. I think will be a so I was coming to that, we fully appreciate your point, what you are raising that thing. Just to give example, for 5 kilowatt two wheelers, it is taking about half an hour, one hour to charge that thing. If you say 400 kilowatt, you have to charge that thing, it will take almost 15 hours to charge. So driver cannot wait for that. Awesome. We have been the best trucks in terms of crystallization, in terms of uptime and performance and fuel efficiency. So that experience, what we got from Volvo, that helped us to introduce a truck which are much more stable technology as compared to our competition. And we had our market share growth. If you look at our market share growth, our market share prior to BSX was in LMD was around 28-29%. Today we are 33-34% market share. So that is definitely helping us in that direction. Similarly in Euro 7, Volvo wants that uh, they are spending more of the energy on the hydrogen technology, on the EV technology and fuel cell also at the, the, their priority. So our technology much more mature when we actually in India announced that Euro 7. We are definitely ahead of anybody else. Already work we have done about 10 to 15 percent work is already over. In India, here in, we'll show you some of the engines also we'll show you. After a very exciting interaction with Mr. Sachdeva, the women delegates started their tour of the plant with the much talked about uptime center of VECV. The following are excerpts from the uptime center and other facilities around the same. सारे वुमन ट्रांसपोर्टर्स जो पूरी इंडिया से आए हैं तो यहाँ आकर ये मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगा कि इतनी सारी औरतें अभी हर एक फील्ड में काम कर रही है और जो मेनली मेल डोमिनेटिंग फील्ड है ट्रांसपोर्ट ट्रक ट्रांसपोर्ट या बस ट्रांसपोर्ट है उसमें भी अब महिलाएं अपना ना आजमा रही है अपना पोटेंशियल दिखा रही है बहुत ही अच्छा लग रहा है सबको मिलकर एक एनर्जी बहुत सारी चीज़ें सीखने को मिली है एक अलग पर्सपेक्टिव का भी नज़ारा मुझे देखने को मिला है और आयशर वोलो ने यहाँ पर इस प्लांट में हमें बुलाया जो एक्चुअली कैसा वर्किंग चलता है वो सब दिखाया ये अपने आप में एक बहुत ही अलग एक्सपीरियंस है जब हम कमर्शियल व्हीकल यूज़ करते हैं तो हम डायरेक्टली शोरूम से परचेस करते हैं सो एक्चुअली उनका प्रोडक्शन कैसे होता है या उनका असेंबली कैसी चलती है वो हमें पता ही नहीं होता वी आर जस्ट बाय इट एंड यूज इट सो ये एक अलग एक्सपीरियंस है हम सब लिए अभी जैसे अल्टरनेट फ्यूल का ऑप्शन देखा जा रहा है भारत में वो इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल है या सी व्हीकल है 
तो हमने अभी गुजरात लाइन पे दो तीन ट्रक जो है वो सी पर शुरू किए हैं दे आर वेरी एफिशिएंट और उनका माइलेज हो या जो डीजल से हमें डीजल ट्रक से हमें सर्विस मिलती है वैसी सर्विस सी ट्रक से भी मिल रही है और भविष्य में हम डेफिनेटली अल्टरनेट फ्यूल की ओर जाना चाहेंगे आई वुड लाइक टू रियली थैंक आयशा एंड गिरीश सर फॉर टेकिंग दिस इनिशिएटिव एंड फॉर इनवाइटिंग ऑल द वीमेंस बीइंग पार्ट ऑफ द वीमेंस हेल्प अस इन गेटिंग टू नो ईच अदर वीमेंस एंड देयर positive everyone has their own field of expertise now i have 20 other women if i face problem in my transport industry ki bhai agar mujhe fir mein mera accident problem hua hai to whom i have to consult ya mujhe marketing karni hai ya mujhe koi aisha agar mujhe koi truck khareedna hai so who has recently purchased and who is more into technical so whom should i consult so now i have 20 other women making me realize ki they are so doing so much in the industry and what is their forte so whom should i consult whom should i correlate so that we can help each other and our fraternity industry in bringing more the women's because women can be more disciplined and all and they are bringing the change and a human and the women touch feminism touch in the industry is well much more needed and what is more important is the people don't know how much they are respecting women in the industry even now the transport industry is being taken as backward though after covid क्राइटेरिया बहुत सारा चेंज हुआ है बट स्टिल अब्रॉड में यू वोट बिलीव पीपल आर गर्ल्स आर फाइटिंग द केसेज बिकॉज ट्रांसपोर्टर्स आर नॉट गिविंग दम द अपॉर्चुनिटी जस्ट बिकॉज दे आर द सिंगल वुमेन सो उनके लिए अलग से वॉशरूम्स क्रिएट करना या फैसिलिटीज क्रिएट करना बिकॉज ऑफ दिस थिंग एंड हियर इंडियंस में ओ ई एम्स एंड द पीपल्स आर कॉलिंग द वुमेन्स टू टेक दिस इनिशिएटिव टू एनकरेज मोर अदर वुमेन्स सो डेफिनेटली इंडिया इज स्टैंडिंग आउट वॉट हैपन्स इज फ्रॉम आर कस्टमर टू एन कस्टमर whosoever the vehicle is reaching we make sure we take the mail ids and the contact numbers it is always been given we try and help them in getting to know the pre schedule ek timing ki what will be the day timing or the timing when the vehicle will reach so that you know if we can pre tell them through a professional mail ki sir itne baje gaadi aa jayegi so that they know so they can arrange the loading and unloading process accordingly so loading and unloading process is most where the vehicles get hauled अगर ये चीज हो गया ना तो 30% परसेंट ऑफ द चीज गेस हो सो टू एवरी अदर पर्सन मतलब अभी तक मेन सिर्फ कस्टमर्स और ट्रांसपोर्टर्स में इंटरेक्शन होते थे वॉट आई मतलब वॉट वी आर डूइंग इज कि कस्टमर्स के कस्टमर्स को भी ट्राई टू इंटरेक्ट विद द मेल सो दैट आर लोडिंग एंड लोडिंग टाइम कैन बी रिड्यूज ऑल्टरनेट फ्यूल्स में दे आर द मैंडेटरी यू कैन से द मोर इजी द मोर जितनी जल्दी आप उस चीज़ को अडॉप्ट कर लेंगे द रीजन बी देर आर द क्लॉजेस नाउ इन द गवर्नमेंट टेंडर्स या कोई भी बिग टेंडर्स इफ यू हैव टू फिल यू हैव टू गिव दम द सस्टेनेबिलिटी रिपोर्ट नाउ इवन ऑफ योर वेंडर्स इट इज कंपल्सरी टू योर वेंडर्स ऑल्सो सो दैट ग्रीन इनिशिएटिव विच इज बीन टेकन बाय प्राइम मिनिस्टर एंड एवरी बिग कॉपरेट हाउसेज टू सपोर्ट सो एवरी इंडिविजुअल वेन विल बिकम ग्रीन सस्टेनेबल दे सपोर्ट दिस All the big manufacturers, so it has become mandatory. It is very easy कि अगर अपन अभी से adopt कर लें so that we can be prepared for the future till the time it becomes compulsory. And till then we'll having we'll be having our own fleet in the green sustainable, which will help in our development also, showing uh, the possibility that how much we are also supporting the government and will help our vendors also, and it will create us opportunity fast so that you know the people who has not been adopted and it has become compulsion the uh, new new gates can open us because after so many days i'm meeting these people and it's really good to know you know that there are so many women in this industry who are facing the same problems but again solving them with a very good secondly i would like to thank aisha and uh, girish that they have arranged this um, oem visit to the plant this is the first visit uh, that i'll be uh, doing in india and i'm very excited for that so i think for vehicle uptime what we need to do is uh जो रोड पे नो एंट्रीज वगैरह है वो निकाल देने चाहिए आई मीन देर शुड बी रिंग रोड और बाईपास थ्रू द सिटी यू नो सिटी में से जाना है तो इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट सो दैट इज़ वन थिंग देन एफिशिएंसी बढ़ाने के लिए आई डोंट से के यू हैव टू इंक्रीज द नंबर ऑफ व्हीकल्स बट देन इंक्रीज द नंबर ऑफ पीपल यू कैन गेट द बिजनेस एंड गेट वर्क डन दैट इज़ हाउ आई थिंक वी कैन इंक्रीज द अप टाइम ऑल्सो द मेंटेनेंस शुड बी डन ऑन प्रिवेंटिव बेसिस सो that the vehicles don't break down and then uh, you know downtime uh, increases 
so i think that's what we can do for uh, uptime well it does help like now what i have uh, all ashok leland vehicles so we have uh, subscribed for their i alerts to usme ye bhi pata chal jata hai ki fuel kitna hai kam hone wala hai ad blue jo hai wo use ho raha hai nahi ho raha hai and also gps tracking is also there so that helps you know to know exactly where the vehicle is breakdown hua hai nahi hua hai why the uh, driver is waiting and then we can coordinate with him and ask him you know that what exactly is the problem and uh, just get the vehicle running alternate fuel yes it should be used and we are using two cng vehicles uh, right now for the trial basis i would say and we are also in tie up i mean not tie up i would say but it was an experimental um, thing that we had with ashok leland uh one of our old vehicles which had diesel uh, fuel so we replaced that all the tanks and everything with cng and it's an oem fit so we had that experiment and it's working well so i think yeah cng lng will do uh, well but i think uh, hydrogen cell jab aayega that will be a game changer because again cng lng the availability of both is very difficult as compared to diesel and electric vehicles i'm not sure how they are going to work in trucks because if you don't have enough charging wo truck kitna aage jayega i don't know uh, in terms of buses it is doing really well but then again it's a local thing for long haul i don't know how electric vehicles will work but yes we need uh, it's an art to think you know that uh, we have to go for some alternative uh, fuel because diesel and petrol i don't know how it, how much it's going to last it was a great experience for me uh, after meeting so many women in the transport sector uh, like वीमेन एम्पावरमेंट समझ में आ रहा है कि लॉजिस्टिक में भी बहुत सारे वीमेंस आ रहे हैं और पीपल आर वेलकम मोर एंड मोर वीमेन इन द लॉजिस्टिक सेक्टर इट्स अ ग्रेट एक्सपीरियंस फॉर मी और हाँ अच्छा लगा मेरे सब हाँ आयशर प्लान में आके एक तो ब्रांड के ऊपर आपका ट्रस्ट बढ़ता है क्योंकि आप उनकी गाड़ियाँ तो चलाते हो लेकिन वो गाड़ियों का मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कैसे होता है वो कैसे कितने केयरफुली आपकी गाड़ियाँ बनाते हैं और हम लोग डेली बेस पे यूज करते हैं गाड़ियाँ तो हम लोग भूल जाते हैं क्या क्या हमें फीचर्स मिलते हैं तो आके यहाँ पे समझ में आता है कि आपकी एक्चुअल में आपको गाड़ी कैसे मिलती है इट वॉज अ ग्रेट एक्सपीरियंस हाँ अमेजिंग अमेजिंग समझ में आया कि इनकी गाड़ियाँ बहुत स्मूथ हैं बहुत अच्छे से कोई भी चला सकता है तो जो हमारे लिए ड्राइवर शॉर्टेज हो रही है इस इंडस्ट्री में तो मुझे लगता है लड़कियाँ आके बहुत जल्दी इस शॉर्टेज को खत्म करने वाली है ड्यू टू आइशर वेकल्स हाँ आप टाइम ऑफ ट्रक्स कैसे बढ़ सकते हैं मुझे क्या लगता है कि जो आ, आपकी गाड़ियाँ डिटेंशन होती हैं अनलोडिंग एंड अनलोडिंग के टाइम पे अगर वो हमारे कस्टमर हमारी हेल्प करें और रोड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर ऑफ कोर्स अच्छा हुआ है अगर और थोड़ा और अच्छा हो जाए तो हमारा एफिशिएंसी और बढ़ ऑल्टरनेटिव फ्यूल के बारे में जैसे आइशर वाले अभी काम कर ही रहे हैं हाइड्रोजन के ऊपर जहाँ फिर मुझे लगता है कि एक तो हाइड्रोजन और इलेक्ट्रिक व्हीकल अगर ऑल्टरनेटिव इसके ऊपर काम करें तो इट विल हेल्प extremely uh, encouraging extreme lot of learning and it amazed me with the kind of journey each women has had so it was an amazing feeling and i take back a lot of learnings the experience was fantastic there's a lot which i kind of learned from the plant because there are technical things which we don't really know as being owners we just buy the trucks so i think it was very much needed i think every truck owner should come and visit the plant to know what the technicalities are amazing experience oh my god it didn't it was really nice i really enjoyed thoroughly enjoyed it I wish I can get the license. Of course, it was just a test drive, but it was amazing. So honestly, from OEM's point of view, I think they are already doing a lot in terms of you know they have uh, GPS tracking, which they kind of keep giving you alerts so that you get the vehicles on right time. Second, they also even when uh, there's a breakdown, so you know Aisha has been committing they any breakdown the, it will be covered in within three hours. so that kind of also helps and from custom we have to go back to our customers and tell them that the unloading and loading has to be done on time so if that happens the efficiency of the trips increase so yeah honestly great but i think for secondary market it will work really well if you're talking of ev trucks it will do brilliant in secondary market right now because i think if it till time it reaches primary it will take some time because infrastructure wise we'll have to be very very well equipped of, of course we're doing a lot but there's a lot which is much more needed uh just learned about hydrogen gas and i think that is going to be a very good thing so honestly so we are coming from very niche market but for my ambient business i would definitely look at these two options it is a very nice experience i think i've been to such a delegation for the first time it's amazing to know how other women have moved in their career journey and it's a very enriching and enlightening journey 
it's my first visit to any OEM, so it is amazing. I haven't seen, I have seen uh, manufacturing plants for automobiles, passenger vehicle cars, but for a drug manufacturing company, first time it was brilliant. It's it's so nice. There are so many things that you've never seen, never heard of, and you see it by your bare eye. It's amazing. Amazing. For the first time again, as a transporter, if I say I have driven a truck, it, yeah, it's good. Now I know what my drivers feel like when they sit in a car and what they want in the vehicle. So yeah, and now I really know their. We've been talking drivers, 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 and what they want. Now I know what they really want while sitting on, on that chair. I think uh, with my experience, I feel uh, what we require is service centers and India. We want people who can service our vehicles when they are down. We want someone who can attend to us quickly without us following too much. So if we get that kind of support from any OEM, any manufacturer, that's brilliant because that ensures that our vehicle is up and ready to go in no time. I think service centers and somebody who can attend to us at any corner of the country is what we would want. I still, I am still out of words for that center because I really thought it's going to be like a big space center where they're going to have all these screens and nobody's really following up. I always thought that way. When I saw things here, I came to know that yes, it's a space center, though a small one and people are really interested in how much data are they using from us in order to give us better service. The idea of where our fleet is moving, how it is moving and then giving technicians of that relevant vehicle in that particular area is something I never thought that they would be really using data for. It's really nice how they use data uh, to advantage of themselves as well as customers. I'm really looking forward to how this will shape up and how it comes into heavy carriage uh, segment. It, maybe uh, a few years before things settle up, but yeah, really looking forward to alternate fuel. Um, first of all, I would like to thank you, Girish. You have uh, really uh, taken such a good initiative. I'm going back uh, very motivated from here, and I have got so many thoughts, and each one had a story of their own, and there was so much to learn over here, and what everyone has gone through, and uh, Though the problems are almost the same because we are all in the transport sector, but uh, I'm actually really going back very motivated from here. What are your thoughts on the plant, your first plant visit? Yes, it is my first plant visit and I think it's uh, really uh, technology wise, I mean I'm not a technical person, but uh, they took great effort to show each and every part of the place and they took, you, took us to the uh, testing track also and a few of them even drove the vehicles so I don't think we would have got an opportunity like this anywhere else and um, they took us to the uh, uh, engine uh, room and uh, uh, the various developments they are doing and how um, uh, from BS2, BS4, BS6 how the progress has taken place so it's good to know about it since we are doing this transportation work we are having a huge fleet so we should know something about the vehicle as well. See technology can help and that that's what way to help and uh, GPS of course is there uh, but there are problems on the way like no entry and all is there so if there is some improvement ho jai, so we may be able to um, uh, get better results and uh, loading and unloading if there is some more mechanized ho sakta hai, so that uh, trucks get uh, unloaded faster because loads ki kami nahi hai. There is a lot of work in the sector. I think it should be a good uh, alternate uh, for a short haul uh, this thing. Uh, I'm not really sure about the long haul. Uh, uh, probably they might come up with uh, better, uh, 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 like for a, uh, uh, a trip which is taken uh, for a short uh, distance. Okay, fine. But the charging thing, you know, I'm not really sure how it's going to be. But hydrogen, ka, what we, has, we have seen today, I think that may be a very good option. So first of all, I would like to thank you Girish and the entire team of Aisha for giving us this opportunity. It was amazing, amazing experience. It was such an incredible trip. Amazing. It was something I really wanted to do and I actually enjoyed. It's the first time ever I've driven a truck. I feel, uh, first of all, technology. You have to be up to date with the technology. Secondly, uh, with the drivers, you have to be intact with the drivers, your delivery time should be good. So I think there are a few things that we should do. A proper GPS, proper 
system should be there so that it can have a timely delivery. So since I told you, uh, we are already using electric cars. So I'm really looking forward to electric vehicles so that you know we it's really economical. And I'm really looking forward. If something comes to it, we'll definitely use it. I would be the first one to do it. We will continue our journey at VECV's facility after this very short break. You are watching Trans India, real people, real emotions. आप चाहे ब्रेक पर हो पर आपका बिजनेस कभी ब्रेक नहीं लेता इसलिए माय आई इसके अपटाइम मैनेजमेंट फीचर्स जैसे प्रेडिक्टिव अपटाइम एंड मेंटेनेंस अलर्ट्स, ब्रेकडाउन एंड रिपेयर असिस्टेंस और अपटाइम हिस्ट्री अब आपके बिजनेस पे ब्रेक ना लगने दे मतलब बिजनेस आपकी पॉकेट में After a detailed discussion and understanding of the uptime center, the women delegates went on to explore the assembly plant, their first experience ever of seeing a truck being put together. They were amazed to see the level of technology that goes into making a truck. They were particularly impressed with the use of robots that not only ensured faster production, but also a high level of precision. The next stop was the much talked about powertrain facility which has been an element of pride for VECV. Engines from this facility are exported to all parts of the globe and this facility was manufacturing BS6 engines much before the same were introduced in India. The next big draw at the plant was the advanced paint shop facility. Once again, the women were dazzled to see the level of precision and quality at the paint shop.
the biggest attraction of the day was to see the women driving trucks. Yes, you heard that right. The women were more than excited to drive trucks. And VECV gave them that opportunity. We will leave you with glimpses of women driving trucks and summing up their trip. But with a reminder that they are not just driving trucks, but they are driving VECV's campaign of Nai Soch, Nai Raste. We will be back again next week with another interesting journey from the road transport industry. Until then, stay safe, drive safe, Jai Hind. Business कभी खाली पॉकेट नहीं चलता, पर ऐसा भी क्या रहता है इस पॉकेट में? दिन दिन का छोटा मोटा खर्चा, महीनों पुराना एक फटा हुआ पर्चा। हर कस्टमर का हिसाब किताब और ऊपर वाले का आशीर्वाद फर्स्ट इंप्रेशन जमाने वाली कंगी किस्मत के दरवाजे खोलने वाली चाबी इन सब से बिजनेस तो चलता है पर बिजनेस का परफॉर्मेंस बढ़ाता है माय आईज आपके पॉकेट का सबसे जरूरी हम अब एक्सेस करें फ्लीट मैनेजमेंट अप टाइम मैनेजमेंट और ढेर सारी सर्विसेज सब एक ही जगह पे कभी भी कहीं से भी तो आज ही डाउनलोड करें माई आयशर के साथ बिजनेस आपकी पॉकेट में